Hello, my darlings. Happy Friday to all of you and welcome back to Malfoy Manor for the Potter Project. We are at part 12 of this build, my loves. It's coming along. I've done a little bit off of camera as well that I'm going to show you now. Um, not too much. And again, over next week, I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, we're concentrating today on the kitchen areas down in the dungeons. So where all the house elves, house elves? House house. Where all the house elves live? House elves? House, I've got a hair on me as well. Why am I like this? There it is. Oh, it's an eyelash. Make a wish. There we go. <laughs> no idea. Um, yeah, we're going to concentrate on that area today and we are going to, I'm going to show you around the place to be honest with you, to be honest with you. And then next week, what I'm going to do and come back and we're probably going to start on some of the bedrooms. I think, I think we're going to start on some of the bedrooms. I'm going to do a little bit of work off of camera for the other rooms as fillers, not fillers, but just rooms that I don't think would be kind of semi-interesting for you guys to watch. And then, yes, that's it. That's all I need to say. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into game. And let's stop building. So here we are, my darlings, back at Malfoy Manor. Twelfth time. I reckon this could go to maybe 20 parts. Hopefully, maybe a little bit less than that. I am enjoying it still. I'm still loving building this, of course. But I'm ready for Hagrid's hut. <laughs> I'm just ready to keep moving on, loves. Um, I started something on, off of camera, but I think I'm going to change this a little bit. This is going to be the ballroom. Um, but I'm going to change this a little bit. I think I'm going to put these up on platforms, these areas here. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. And the piano maybe up on a platform too with some more kind of arches and stuff in here. It just looks a little bit flat in here. But I do like it. I do like it. I used this um, dance floor from Get Together. But I hated the edge of them. It was like that silvery edge. So I just put some of those like kind of brickwork over it. And it kind of semi-works. The color's okay. I would prefer it if it was a bit darker. But we don't have any... We don't have... We do not have any darker versions of that which is really annoying i wish this came in more swatches this one I really do oh that one's quite a nice swatch actually well we're not concentrating on this room today no we are not engaged um what else has been happening oh the library has been deleting itself again I just, until they fix that bug this is just going to keep happening with the i know there is a workaround around it so i'm get make sure to do that workaround um before i actually put this up on the gallery so you guys can get this library in its fullness um but obviously today we are working down in the basement my love so i have started a floor plan down here started a floor plan put a few little details here i'll point you around where uh, everything is going to go so this is kind of your central kind of like hub really don't know what i'm going to do in this room yet i might make this into a semi uh it's going to be quite dark it's very um it's very warmly lit down here at the minute, actually. So I'm going to cool everything down slightly. That's better. That's a bit more better. Oh, yes. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do here. I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. I just might make it like a nice decorative kind of like chamber room, really. But still lots of details. I want to put some pillars and stuff in here. Uh, and then you kind of come down through this way. And these are the kind of dungeon area. Because as you know, they had a dungeon. Now, there is a secret room in here, and it's this one here. It might look a little bit different than the rest of them. Because why? Because it is protected by a spell. A very spooky, jokey spell that the Malfoys have cast on this room. And you can only enter this room by means of apparating into there. Um, so that's the only way you can get in. And you, you can only be... This is my storyline. You can only be a member of the Malfoy family to be able to enter this room. And this is where they hold lots of their kind of like spooky, bad, evil artifacts that they've got that they were trying to hide. Um, and I just liked using that like glittery uh, wall, which is from Jungle Adventure, by the way, if you're wondering where that wall was from. From Jungle Adventure. Uh, over this way, I'm going to make a nice bedroom for the house elves. Um, it's not going to be nice. It's just going to be kind of a stagnant kind of bedroom, really. Um... And this is where they're all going to sleep. This is their bedrooms. Um, and then they've got a little bathroom as well off to the side. Just in case they need to go for a little um, elf wee. <laughs> God. And this is going to be the kitchen. This is where we're going to be concentrating on today. We're going to make the kitchen today. And that's going to be it. I thought this would be really cute if we could have like some ovens in here. In like little arches. I really wanted to. But I'm unsure if they'd be able to use them if it was two. Uh, it doesn't really matter if they can't use them. This is kind of... A decorative kind of like kitchen to be honest with you but i would like them to be usable really but 
um, I thought I would do like quite a big row just in case they had loads of food cooking at one time and they had a big party or something um, or a Death Eater meeting or something like that. But that is what we're going to do today. That is what we're going to do today. And I'm kind of happy with this floor plan because um, you can get access through here. I reckon this is what the house elves would use unless they were around the house cleaning and stuff. And then there's stairs down here as well. I need to remember to change this because I don't like that color in here. Um, I'm on about the fence, the brick, the wall, the stone fence. Um, but yes, that's what we're going to do today, my darling. So let's get started, shall we? Yes, we will indeed. So in the kitchen, um, I'm going to make a start with these uh, ovens. These ovens, I hopefully they'll be able to use at least one. Um, but I don't reckon because of the archway, I just reckon they're just going to really have difficulty trying to use that for some reason. Unless I just do like kind of, mm, I don't really want to just do one. One wasn't like, oh, do you know what I'm going to do instead? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use one, but then put maybe like a counter in between them. So they should still be able to get in there and use that. Now I'm unsure if I'm going to size up the extractor either. I like the extractor, but I don't know about the size of it. I might size up with a tool mod because I think that one's just a little bit too big, you know. So I think we'll do that. Anyway, um, we'll forget about that for the minute. Get back in there. We will now find a counter that's going to fit in here quite nicely. I don't know what kitchen we're going to use yet. Whether or not we're going to use a custom content one, I'm unsure about that. So let me have a little goose through and see what one I think would match in the vibe with this kitchen nicely. Ooh, I do like this Realm of Magic one in here. And what I've just been doing, it's just been putting a little bit in between them. And just it's going straight through the wall. That doesn't really matter in itself. Not, not at all, because you can't really tell. Apart from these little corner bits, they are sticking out, but it's very dark. You can't see it. So I'm going to use that other corner piece down on this part too. Is that the right one there? Oh, I prefer that side actually, just because it's not got a handle on it. That one's got a weird handle there. So maybe if I turn it, I could get rid of that handle. Let me see. Come on. Oh, why, what are you doing? I was going straight back to where it was. Um, Let me try again. A spare. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, I do like that. I like that indeed. I very much do. And I do want to use these. I do want to use these, but I'm going to I'm going to do two, I'm going to do 3 and then maybe size it up like a 1.2 and see what the size of that turns out like. Um and I'll do that with the tool mod obviously. So I'll, this one, this one and this one. And we'll scale this to a 1.2 and we'll have a little look at the size of it. Maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger, maybe a 1.4. Yeah, that's better. That's a better size. Yeah, I do like that. I think they need to come down slightly, though. I think they do need to come down slightly. Not that. That's a bit, that's a bit much, that, loves. What about if I just get those walls down for the minute? Would that help? Do they still connect? Oh, no, they don't. They're lovely. Same there as well. And there. But I also want some kind of, like, chimney breast. Bwest behind it and i think what i will use will be the decorations let's get rid of all of maxis so we can get find the um custom content a lot easier and use those peacemaker like these maybe that would work like back there to act as a chimney breast obviously not um in that color that is the shortest one isn't it yeah, it's just a wall segment, that is. It's a wall segment. Let me see. Come, come down. Come down, come hither. Come hither, my love. Let me have a little look. Yes, but it needs to be put in a good spot because that's not going to work. Is that the best brick we can do? I think it would be. Oh, actually. Oh, that's better. Yeah, the darker one. We'll use this one. All right, let's whiffle you across. So that's just a little bit shorter than that one. Um, a little bit shorter down from that line I meant there. See this? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to do the same here as well. Come on, darling. Work with me, Sheila. But yes. Anyway, my loves, happy Halloween weekend, my darlings. Hope you all get up to something magical. What's going on there? How very dare you. Um, yeah, I hope you get up to something spooky, dooky and magical. I'm not doing a whole lot, to be honest. Is that smaller? Why are you so wide? And then you would 
not. Hey, eh? What's going on? Something spooky is happening just because it's Halloween. There we go. Why was that one smaller then? It kind of sized it. Maybe it was like interacting with the tool mod on that or something? That was strange then. I don't know what went on then, John. I really don't. Um, but yeah, I like that. I do. I do like that indeed. Yes, I do. Uh, I think... Do I want to put like a candle in there or something? Or some kind of light source? Let's have a little look. I'm going to have a little goosey through and see if I can light that up without it being kind of noticeable. I'm going to use these. These are the um, jungle adventure kind of area lights. You can find these in debug. You can find these in debug. I think we're going to use these. Um, and don't worry, in gameplay, you won't be able to see them. They they completely disappear in gameplay. Just to let you know, my loves. And they just add a nice little bit of light in there. Um, and we're, I've been sizing them down, though. Just so they're like... You can't see them now anyway, because they're hidden. Oh, how very dare you. There are wall ones as well. I tried the wall ones. It didn't work. Yes, that's nice. And then I'll change all of these to that color as well. Yeah, that's just brightened up in there a little bit more. And I do enjoy it. I do enjoy that. I very much do. Yes, cool. Okay, right. Now, I do want to do some um, some um, cupboards down here. That took a while to get out then, didn't it? Bloody hell. Bloody hellfire. Anyway, all the way down. All the way down, I think. And I think I want to do some like big farmhouse tables. Rather than doing an island, I think I want to do some big farmhouse tables with loads of like produce underneath of them and stuff. We're going to fancy up the fireplace as well. They will need fridges, but I might even build the fridges in to this wall or something. Maybe I could. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a minute. I'm getting distracted again. I'm getting distracted again, darlings. Right, all the way down. Not all the way down, actually. That might be a bit excessive. What about if I do it in the middle? Let's get my grid on. And what about if we did the, like, cabinet moment in the middle here? Around to there. And then one, maybe one more. Oh, we could, we could do that. We could do that to there. Don't forget, this is a big house. So they need a big kitchen. I just don't want it to look too swamped. Um, too, um, I don't know. <laughs> what was that noise? I don't want it to be too, okay. So, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that one. Now, I always forget with this bloody kitchen it doesn't come with cupboards it doesn't come with cupboards why do you always forget that oh sims sims fucking sims um i'm gonna have to try and find one that will look okay okay we're gonna do a mixture that was just looking too long across there so i've broke it up with this big welsh dresser that is from jungle adventure as well um but i am gonna close in the counters so they kind of meet up with that too i think so if i flop that into there and click this onto the edge will you just go in there automatically of course you won't because you're a prick <laughs> so i'm gonna oh there we go that looks okay oh that was a little bit far forward that one there we go perfect um and these are from felix Ander. these are the london cabinets i think they're gonna work as best as what we possibly can um, with the kitchens we do have. But I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of happy with how they look together, to be honest. Colour matches them very well. Um, and I'm for it. I'm for it. And that is all that needs to be, doesn't it? Isn't it, darlings? Eh? Yes, it is. So, yes. Why did I grab another one to stop it? I'm so used to pressing shift down when I'm placing stuff that I end up copying it. Right. And then hopefully we can get in the smaller version Oh, perfection. Perfection. Can we just like... Can we like do... Is it... <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah, the answer is no to that. This is going to overcut or cut into that quite a little bit, but I might put a shelf up there instead. Yes, we'll do that. Oh, oh we're going to do that. I feel like I can flop in a dark brun shelf into the top there. In fact, what I'll probably need to do is like do it around about there and do the same. I oh, know that one could be 
a little bit thicker. Oh, that one's a bit higher, weirdly. That's because those are not at the right height, Aiden. That one needs to come up slightly, does it? Yeah, it does. Oh, it shouldn't do, though, because it's... I want it to be... Oh, it's got a gap there. Come hither, you. Right, and then you... Be down to there. Why is that shelf higher than that one? Oh, that one's higher? Why would it be? Or oh, maybe it's this here that needs to come up a little bit more. I'm being a perfection. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm into that. I am. I do think this needs to be covered up, though. Just so it looks like a, um, a full cabinet. So what I might do, I know that, um... Pierre Sim has got those panels. Let me find them. Well, I couldn't find those panels from Pierre Sim for the life of me. I've looked through everything. It took me a while to do that as well, and I just couldn't bloody find them. So instead, I've used... Oh, that looks quite nice as well. Don't get distracted, Aiden. Oh, that does look nice. Let me just see. Let me just see. Let me just see. Um, Let me just see. <laughs> uh, where are they? What was I doing? Who am I? What is my name? What is my name and where am I? Where am I? Why am I here? Um, you th no. Uh, uh, there they are. Oh, they're not even flat on the wall, Aiden. Stop it. No, we're getting distracted. So I've used these. I've used these here from the organic pack. Uh, and it just looks nice. I like it. I do. I would have preferred the panels, but I just think that kind of sets it all in together as a little unit now. And I'm kind of for it. Very much for it indeed. So we've got that basic bit down. I do want to do like a little wash area. And I think I would probably want to use kind of some farmhouse looking sinks. Um, without having to go for any kind of um, custom content as well. I think we might have to use one of the kind of in-game ones. Which is fine. Hopefully they will fit in. Uh, I was thinking me... Oh, let me see you. Oh, that's not too bad. If it, that comes like in a darker version. I mean, I'm not angry about that. It's the underneath though, but I can sort that maybe. I can make that like a little bit less modern. How? I don't know. What about if I sized one of these down like underneath of it? Oh, you can't size down counters. I always forget that. Hmm. Hmm. I need to think. I'm going to use these instead. These are from the Cottage Living expansion, are you? Cockle Doodle Doo, yes they are. Um, I'm going to put that there. I have a little wash moment going on there as well, but I kind of want that to have its own moment too. I wonder if I could put those in arches as well. If I can like do one bit of wall there. My computer is struggling putting walls down in this place because there's so many. If I can do a little moment. Yeah, I think we will. I think I'll make a little cabinet moment there as well. So I'm going to make this out of wood, I think. I think I'm going to get a bit of wood in here. Um, So I do need some kind of dark wood coming down. Yes, there we go. I've used the panelling from Felix's London collection. And I've used this Strangerville um, add-on, which is from... I think it's from Logical Sims, this one. Um... It doesn't say, but I'm sure it is. Or is it, is it Peacemaker? No, because it would say it was Peacemaker on there. It's either from a Logical Sims or Peacemaker. One of them. One of them, and I don't know which one which one it is, and I'm very sorry about that. Um, we do need to get the, a light in there. Oh, can I not clone that? How very fucking do you? Well, we'll go in and get it ourselves then, darlings, won't we? Um, let me... Is it debug? Yes, it is. Right, and then I'll flop this one into here as well. So that gives off some lighting. And size that down too. Just so we can't see it. And don't worry, those won't appear in gameplay. I've made that look very blue in there though. Very blue indeed. And I don't like that. It's the sinks. Uh, I'm wondering if I could like hide the sink. The front of the sink with like a wood panel. I'm going to try. This is going to be very annoying. Because I'm going to have to take out walls I think. Let me see if I can do this. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's the stairs. Oh, it's going to stick to the bloody stairs as well. Let me try and do this. Right, I'm going to have to meander you away for a minute, my love. I will bring you back. Is that destroyed anything upstairs? Uh, not really. Right. Hopefully we can do this. So that's going to stick to there, isn't it? Because I need to get rid of those as well. 
see all this bloody work around. Oh, all this work around for something that might like shit. Oh god, I gotta take those down. Do you know what? I'll come back to you in a minute. <laughs> Guys, I think this has worked. I had to size them up 1.1. I used those little like panels from the organic pack. And I do think this is semi-worked. So we're going to continue on. I'm going to flop what we had in. Please don't delete anything. In fact, I'm going to be very safe. I'm going to be a very safe boy. And I'm going to... Um, what am I doing? Putting deletion protection on just in case. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to wall all of this back in again. Come on. Come on. But look how slow it takes for the walls to go down. And I've got a pretty well, a powerful PC. So I don't know why it's doing that. It's because it's got so much bloody stuff in this build already. That's why, Aiden. Um, we are nearly up to the... Oh, has that moved that door across? I think it did. Yes, it definitely did. Hang on. Yeah, no, that's right. That is right. Um... Uh, just so you know, we are at what the lot value is 1.4 million simoleons at the minute. And we haven't even furnished this place yet. So let's just say we are going to be, I think we're going to get up to the, maybe, I don't think we'll get to 2 million. I don't think we'll get to 2 million, but we might do. We might do. I do not know. I do not know indeed. Right, I need the central one. There we go. This one here in that dark paneling. Let's do the whole inside as well. I think this would have been, this is worth it because I just think that, yeah, that just takes away that blue edge in there as well. Hopefully they can still use them. They should be able to. They should be able to get in there and use them. Yes, I like that a lot. I do. I very much do, Jade. Right, we need some shelves. Those shelves look quite crisp up there now I'm looking at them. Why do you keep show? I just want, go away. I don't want, oh, these might look better. Oh, they kind of do. I think I'll use these in here. Uh, if I can do like, is that a good height? No, it's not. Like there. That's a good height. There. There. And then up a little bit higher. That needs to come down a little bit more. And flop that down to there. That's better. Yes, that's nice. Oh, I like that. A little like water moment. A little washing moment that we've got going on over there. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, we're getting like the points in. We're getting the points in. Still want to do lots of details in here. I think I'm going to do some beams in this room as well, going across the ceiling. I think that's what I want to do. And um, I really want to start decorating this fireplace now. So that's what we're going to start together now. So I think what I'm going to do first is wall this in. If we can. <laughs> After four years. I'm then going to whiffle this up. Only one, so they can still use it. And uh, putting an arch there, I know that they can't use them. I've tried it before. So we're going to have to try and make this our own, I think. So let me have a little think, and I'm going to pull out a few objects. Right, I've had a little play, and this is what we're going to do. I need to raise this back up again. Raise this back up again. I'm going to use the spandrels. It was quite simple, actually. It wasn't anything special, but I just thought it looked nice using these um, university columns as well. So we're going to flop in. Um, where are you? Oh, did I get rid of... Oh, I got rid of bloody custom content now. Right, if I can use these like that. Lovely. Yeah, that's done a bit more of a moment. I might... Can we darken this down? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I kind of like the brick, actually. Let me just see what other ones we've got here. That one's nice as well. But I kind of prefer the darker, like, ready brick moment in here. Yeah, we're going to do that. What are you doing? Stop it. For goodness sake. Oh, I hate columns now since they did the update on them. I just can't bear them. Um, I never liked them before. No, I did. I'm lying. I used to use them on all of my builds. I used to put them on every corner of the walls when I was doing exterior it's funny how you like your building tastes change over the years because mine has changed oh that's the foundation Aiden what are you doing um probably just gonna have to go for a dark wood really to be honest yeah yeah I'm gonna or unless I do like a chunkier oh yeah that would work if I did that yes yes that's nice I like that I do like that I was thinking about putting these on the corner of this as well let me see what that would look like 
me see. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, I do. I like this little detail here as well that kind of pokes out as well. Yep, I'm for it. And then my faults were... This is going to be a little bit annoying, actually, because this is not directly in the corner. But I think I'm going to carry this cabinet around just onto this side and connect it through that way as well. So let's get a corner piece going on here. Uh, yeah, it's not just... It's just a little bit short. Uh, uh, if I did that, though... Would that look weird if I just started doing cabinets there now? Let's find out together. Let's find out together. Oh, I know auto counters don't really help out with that, but I wish they were just connecting automatically, like modulate. Do you know what I mean? They used to. Have they stopped doing that now? I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. Yeah, that should be fine. I know. Oh, it is. <laughs> far away <laughs> that's bothering me that is really bothering me so i'm just gonna do this i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna hide that somehow i don't know how but i'm going to i'll hide it somehow let me just see if that's the right moment we've got going on i think it is i think what we would have to do is maybe no not you i want this one why is it not going give me the right one my god it's all going wrong right Maybe if I connected that over like there. I can't see what I'm doing here. Like there. That will help it as well. Oh, it does. Yeah, it does help it. It does help it. And I think I'll do another one of these like here. I wish they would just snap at the right height, these ones. There we go. Can I do like one more? Oh, that, that's not going to work there. Oh, I don't fucking know. That will stay like that for the minute. <laughs> Aiden's getting frustrated. Aiden's getting frustrated. I don't know what we're going to do with that middle bit. Now I need to bring out these tables that I'm going to be putting in the middle of this room. And I'm thinking about actually putting some columns around this part as well. Because I do want to do some beams down here, I think. So let me figure that out and pull out loads of objects. And we'll start placing it around. Because this is quite a long part, actually. So give me one sec. Okay, I started pulling stuff out. Started pulling stuff out, but I think what I'm going to do is leave it here for today because I think the next time when we come back to this is we'll start doing the decoration and the finer details in here together. Um, and I've also, I've, I've um, diagonally put a wall here and I just think that moment looks a little bit better in the middle there. I might even do the same here, to be honest with you. I don't know yet. Don't know yet. Not too sure. Not too sure. But, and I've put some beams up as well. Put some beams up across the room. I just think that really adds something. Use these big tables here, which are from Jungle Adventure, I think. Are they from Jungle Adventure? No, Cats and Dogs, sorry. Um, And I just think they work really well in here as well. What if we can go slightly darker with it? I don't think we can. Oh, we can. But I don't like the silver edges on that. No, we'll keep that. We'll keep those. But I'm going to pull out loads of stuff. And yes, they've been cooking mandrakes because they're very evil. Um... <sighs> that is the sound of a mandrake anyway i'm gonna leave it here for today i'm gonna leave it here we'll come back with this next week uh, and we'll start doing all the finer details in this room i think it will look marvelous once this room is cluttered this room is going to be majorly cluttered i think quite messy as well i would imagine um but yes i like the way that this is looking i think it's it's definitely getting there. It's definitely getting there. But I'm going to leave this part for today. And I'll be back next week with this. Have a lovely weekend. Have a very spooky Halloween. Halloween? Halloween, my darlings. I'll be back on Monday. Um, with probably the final part of Let's Build the World's Willow Creek, my love. So be on the looks out for that. I'm going to leave you now. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend.